Welcome back to Take It Easy. So today we're going to be taking a look at some Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Literally going to be a quick gloss over, then I'm going to jump into an IQ tutorial and show you how to set up the various different lighting effects and also link it with your other Corsair peripherals. If you do find the video helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe and also check out some of my other Corsair peripheral videos. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what to expect from the Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, this is the box it comes in. I'm not gonna do a proper unboxing, but as you can see on the back there, it is compatible with various other pieces of software such as MSI's Mystic Lite. So upgrading your RAM is possibly one of the easiest upgrades you can do. Specifically, if you go for the Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, this is not only gonna give you a performance boost, but it's also gonna instantly make your setup look a lot better. Where you're gonna see the biggest performance gains is if you've got eight or less gigabytes of RAM and you jump up to 16 gigabytes or more. Here, I've got a massive 34 gigabytes of RAM. I saw it cheap and I just thought, can't really have enough RAM because I do pretty much everything. I'm a CGI artist for a living. I do 4K video editing and I do gaming as well. So for me, I could actually quite easily make use of that 34 gigabytes. But most people will get away with just 16. You can, of course, get away with the eight gigabytes, but what a lot of people will find is that your games are stuttering and just by upgrading a RAM, just maybe getting one more stick of eight gigabytes, that will actually eliminate all the stuttering and make everything run a lot smoother. That exact same thing happened to me when I was playing Ark Survival Evolved. I was noticing the frame rate was okay and then it would just sort of stick every now and then. It was getting really annoying and I, as soon as I upgraded my RAM it instantly made the game and every other game I played run a lot smoother. I've only got a 1060 graphics card in this PC and I can quite easily run games at 2K between 40 to 60 FPS on medium to high settings. So the most important thing you need to know before you go out and buy some RAM is that not all RAM is going to be compatible with your motherboard. You need to check what motherboard you have and you need to check what RAM it can support, whether it's DDR3, DDR4 and what megahertz. But those are the most important things you need to know and really the only things you need to know before you go out and buy some RAM. Like I said, it is at the end of the day, probably one of the easiest upgrades you can do to your PC. So next up, we're gonna jump into a quick IQ software tutorial and show off some of the lighting effects for the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Okay, so as promised, let's jump into a quick IQ tutorial. So boot IQ up at, ah. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the common problems with IQ and that is that it just does not work. Okay, let's try that again. So if you do encounter the problem that I've just had where you can't click on any of your peripherals, what you need to do is actually just go down to your notifications panel on your PC, right click the IQ software symbol and click quit. And then just simply load it back up. Uh, nine times out of 10, it will everything will be there. Worst comes to worst, all you'll have to do is just reset your PC. Okay, so hopefully you've got everything working now. So what we're gonna do to start off is we're just gonna take a look at the profiles panel. So what I've got going here is three profiles. I have like sort of preset and set to a hotkey on my mouse. So I can just simply flick between them like so. Um, so one thing you can do on the uh, profiles panel is you can actually select a background image because when I'm using a certain color scheme, I like to use a certain background. So I'm in the process of setting that and you just click on the profile and you go down to background image and select the image you want. For the sake of this tutorial though, we're just gonna create another profile by clicking on the plus icon and the top right corner. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna call it video for now. You can call it whatever you like. Okay, so now we've got this, this uh, profile selected, we're gonna go and select our Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Uh, if you're just following this tutorial in general, then yes, select whichever piece of um, Corsair kit you've got and you want to change. So once you click on the RAM slot, you'll be greeted with this uh, sort of drop down. So what you want to do is go straight down to lighting effects. And again, just press the plus button. 
and that creates the uh, lighting effect. Like a, by default, it's usually the rainbow wave. So what you want to do is go down here and we're just going to practice making a static color for now, nice and simple. So I'm just going to go for a sort of cyan blue color. And you'll see on the right hand side, it depends how many uh, RAM slots you've got, but you can turn them off and on here. So I'm actually just going to turn uh, dim one off. And what I'm going to do now is create another lighting effect, go to static color. And then just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to select a red. And then I'm going to turn dim two off. So this is how you get a sort of uh, different color on each RAM slot. But there is more to this. Uh, on the RGB RAM, there is actually a multicolor option. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to turn them both back on for now. And you'll see that you've actually got 10 individual lighting zones. So what we could do is just create a really nice gradient effect just for the sake of the tutorial, nice and quickly. I'm doing this very, very rough at the moment. I'm sure you could get a lot more creative with this. There you go. Okay, now you can see we've got like a static rainbow effect going down. So you can change these to whatever you want. So uh, on one of my color profiles, I have, uh, in fact, I'll show you quickly. We'll just go to the blue and pink, go to lighting setup. So I've got a multicolor gradient, a bit like that. So you can get really creative, um, if, especially if you're doing a theme setup. Okay, next little trick is we're going to actually add uh, another lighting effect, but what we're going to do is just delete the static color for now. So this multicolor, what uh, sort of base, should we call it, we've got here, this is going to sit, this is going to be the color that's always going to be on. But what we're going to do here is go to the lighting link options and I'm going to select type lighting. So what this does is whenever I click a button, like so, it'll send a sort of pulse through all my uh, Corsair peripherals. So I've, I've got mouse, keyboard, I've got all sorts here. So what you want to do is just slide this underneath. So this color is always on. You'll get this nice color pulse going through all your setup still, but the base color will always be there. By default, when you select a lighting link, um, light node they will also appear on your other peripherals by default again so you can see here once I click it's going through my Corsair mouse as well so what we could do is just do the same thing again get a nice static color let's call it yellow just for now and then I'm just gonna slide that underneath there like so and now my RGB colors will always be on, but once I click, I get this really cool pulse through all of my setup. And really, once you get the hang of this, you can do whatever you like, and you can get really, really creative with uh, which lighting effects you want. There are other lighting link um, options, so you can go for rain. So this will actually, again, go echo across all your setup if you've got more Corsair peripherals. I think it's quite a nice effect, but it might be a little bit too much because it's constantly moving. It might be a bit distracting for you actually. But yeah, that's just one of the things you can do. Uh, also on the RAM specifically, there is a temperature. So we click this, it's going to indicate uh, what temperature your RAM is uh, sitting at basically. So you can see mine's not doing too great at the moment, it's probably all the 4K video editing. But this could be a quite a nice indicator uh, if you don't want to have all those horrible on-screen stats up you can just take a quick look inside your case to get an idea of some temperatures. Uh, as well as the lighting effects in IQ, there's all sorts of other bits of information. So you can see uh, all your stats there. Again, your temperature. And you can also set notifications up here. So what you can do, you can say when uh, the RAM hits a certain temperature, 
you can set it to show as red, for example. So again, that's a really nice um, sort of trigger, if you like, without having to have all those stats up on your screen. You could just take a look inside your case, and if it's red, then you know you're in trouble. You can also select your layout here. Just be careful, because sometimes it does uh, default to the wrong one. So just check that out when you start a new profile. But other than that, that's really all there is to IQ. Um, again, keyboard, mouse, everything's a little bit different. Everything works different. Uh, I, lastly, just before we go, I'm going to show you the keyboard uh, and how to set that up. So again, we can just select a static color, but with the keyboard, you can actually just assign individual keys. So what you want to do is hold control down like so. So what I like to do is highlight the keys that I use often. So like when I'm playing a game, uh, it might just usually do WASD, as with most games, if not all. Uh, and so maybe I'll select this to like a nice blue or something. And then I'll select another static color. Uh, I'll slide that underneath there. And as you can see, my blue has stayed there but the rest of the keyboard is now lit. So uh, let's pick, I don't know, like an orange. So yeah, that's how you do that. Just think of everything as a layer system and it'll be really, really easy to get your, your head around. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the tutorial. Let me know if I missed anything. If you want me to go over anything in a future video, I'll happily try and do that for you. Um, IQ can be a little bit janky. It's not had uh, the best reviews in the past, but when it works, it does work well. Okay, so that was the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM along with your IQ tutorial. Let me know what you thought in the comment section and please do feel free to share your IQ profiles. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the next one.